Dear partners and colleagues, um, thank you all for joining us today for the final online webinar event of uh, 2019. Uh, today we'll talk about uh, the product roadmap for 2020 that uh, was released last week. We'll talk about the results of 2019 and uh, about um, our plans for the next year. And today I'm joined by my colleague, Viktor Kravtsov, our head of product management at MS Team. So thank you, Viktor, for joining us. Hello, everyone. Um, and um, just to give you an idea of what we're going to talk about, let's take a look at the plan. We will start off with um, a brief overview of the results uh, and achievements of 2019. Then we'll take a closer look at the product roadmap. We'll see what we have there and what we have prepared for you for the first quarter of 2020. We will um, um, talk about the upcoming releases, about um, the general process of how we formed the roadmap, and we'll tell you how you can influence it. And as always, we'll wrap up with a um, Q&A session. So do take advantage of this opportunity and um, type your questions in the relevant section. Victor will be happy to answer them. So please um, ask the questions so to get some um, up-to-date and first-hand information from Victor and some insights. So I think uh, we're all set uh, to kick off our discussion today. I'd like to cite some numbers. And um, we'll talk about the results of 2019 first. And um, as you can see, our team has reached 100 and actually 32 um, specialists. Um, and um, this means that uh, the team has increased by around 50 professionals. So we have um, enough resources and uh, hands to provide you with a quality product and with um, services. Also, um, second point is that uh, our partner community has reached 251 partners. And um, actually, this is a record-breaking year for us. So I'd like to thank uh, you all for joining the community, for your active involvement, and um, for participation in our um, initiatives, such as surveys, uh, for all the feedback that you provide. And actually, it is uh, always uh, really useful. And, um, um, you know, we use it to shape our products. Um, so we learn about our customers' needs uh, uh, from you uh, to build uh, quality products that are relevant. Um, and, um, for example, this year you can see that we built 30 new products and uh, this includes five add-ons. Um, if we compare it with the previous year, in 2018, we had uh, 18 new products. So, this is quite a difference. And, um, Victor, um, if we talk about the new products, uh, which of them have been the most successful? So all the products are great, of course. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but this year, we're especially proud of uh, Mega Menu expansion, uh, which has been uh, very popular. Uh, it helps uh, to create a dynamic navigation menu without any technical skills. And uh, you can add uh, any type of content uh, to the menu, like uh, brands, uh, subcategories, uh, product slider, banners, or even customer reviews uh, or video, any any type of widget. So uh, it's very easy to use and it looks great. And uh, therefore, Mega Menu is an extension for both small and large stores. Okay. Another extension uh, we have released in 2019 is uh, Request a Quote. Uh, it helps customers to create a quote, to discuss the price, and then to convert the quote into order in one click. Uh, as you understand, uh, this is a B2B solution. Uh, by the way, we can see these two extensions on the roadmap. Uh, 
So, okay. Yuna, do you want to show us the roadmap? Oh, uh, yes, sure. So, um, I will click on this link that okay. will take us to the roadmap. Actually, we first get to this um, product page, and I just wanted to show you that uh, we are in this upcoming extensions tab here, and at the top, we have a banner with product roadmap. And um, I'll click on this banner, uh, and it will take us to the roadmap. So here it is. Here it is. And um, we have four sections here. And uh, Victor already mentioned uh, the two extensions in the recent releases section. So we have, um, how do we navigate this? Um, so we have uh, the mega menu extension in this recent releases section. And if we scroll down, uh, we will see the request a quote for Magento 2 extension. But yeah, but before we talk more in detail about this section, um, Victor, could you please um, tell us a bit about why we decided to make this roadmap public? Mm, well, uh, first of all, uh, we want uh, to make uh, our processes open and transparent for our customers. And uh, we want to build some trust uh, to show that we are stable and uh, reliable partner on the Magento market. And uh, we want to be closer to the community. Uh, so uh, to make easier for our partners uh, to plan their projects. And this is why we show our secrets probably and make some commitments. This is a big deal, big deal. Uh, yes, it is. And actually, I know from my experience and from many conversations with the partners, um, many of them mentioned that they would like to know more about uh, our plans because um, uh, this make it easier to plan their own budget and the budget of their customers. So, well, this makes perfect sense for me, right? Um, and I'm really glad that we prepared it and launched the roadmap. Um, so, um, okay, so let's go back and uh, pick, it, pick it up from where we left off. Uh, we were in the recent releases section and um, we already talked about the mega menu extension and um, the request a quote extension. Um, I also would like to point out that um, this, the information that we have in the roadmap is not some uh, static content, right? So uh, all the information comes uh, from our in-house um, internal um, uh, product dashboard. So it's relevant and it gets updated regularly. So I, I hope you will appreciate it. And another thing is that it's uh, really easy to use. You can either just uh, browse through the names of the cards here and um, you will just uh, see what we have on the roadmap. Uh, and if you'd like to get some details about a particular item, you can just click on um, on the card and uh, you will see some details, right? So we can just click on the request a quote card okay. and yeah, we get to the Trello dashboard and this is how a card looks like. Um, so recent releases. Um, this is quite a list, Victor, so could you please um, well, highlight some other extensions uh, that were released recently that are worth mentioning? Uh, let's see. Well, it's Christmas time now, and uh, then shoppers go online to buy some presents for their family or friends. They usually want uh, the goods uh, to be wrapped as a gift. And uh, therefore, uh, we have developed gift wrap extension. Okay. It uh, helps uh, Magento Store to offer such a service for the customers. Okay, good. Um, um, another new extension uh, is uh, Store Pickup with Locator. 
uh, it helps the owners to attract customers to their offline locations and uh, shoppers uh, go uh, to the offline shop and uh, they uh, can uh, choose uh, the pickup shop as a map and they can select uh, pickup time and date uh, and the killer feature here is that the customer shipping address is replaced with a pickup store address. Uh, this is uh, important for USA markets, especially. Okay. Uh, okay. I have mentioned the frap uh, store pickup is located there. Then uh, we also released RMA extension. Uh, which help uh, businesses to manage their return requests. Uh, yes, actually, uh, thank you for mentioning this. Um, mm -hmm. We talked with, the, with our partners about the RMA extension um, a few weeks ago. We had a webinar dedicated to this extension and uh, to another two add-ons that we uh, released right uh, um, around October. Yeah, um, already three add-ons. Three. Yeah. Okay, so the third one, the automatic label is already available. Yeah. Okay, good. So here, uh, I'm just showing you the roadmap. Uh, we have the um, reports for RMA here and automation rules add-on. So um, if you didn't have a chance to join us for that webinar live, uh, you can just uh, send me a quick email and uh, I will provide you with a recording. Mm -hmm. Sorry for the interruption. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, so uh, another extension uh, I would like to mention is uh, accelerated mobile pages uh, okay. or AMP. AMP is a solution that Google come up with and uh, it is uh, designed to solve the problem with mobile web. Uh, how it works uh, when you open Google, for example, and when you search, uh, the AMP pages uh, appears high in the search results, and uh, moreover, AMP pages uh, uh, get uh, the fast loading experience. Uh, so uh, our extension uh, gives an opportunity to implement AMP pages for your Magento store. Okay, uh, okay nice. The first release uh, works uh, for product pages only, but we are going to move forward and make uh, the updates for other pages. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Anything uh, else? Uh, yeah. We have an extension that is especially useful for large companies that have uh, many employees. Okay. Uh, this is a Google account plugin. Oh, here it is. Yes. Uh, it helps uh, the employees uh, to log in into Magento backend using their Google account. And this is a secure and user-friendly way for the fast login into backend. This is a small extension, but uh, I think uh, very useful. Okay. And uh, I also like uh, to mention uh, our fifth add-on uh, for the social login extension. It provides, uh, provides uh, an opportunity for customers to log in into Magento store using their Apple ID. Uh, Basically, it makes it very easy for, for them to log in. Okay. Um, so, um, well, we have talked about some extensions uh, in the recent releases section, but I also see that we have uh, some other things, uh, like for instance, compatibility with GraphQL. So, could you please say a few words about this? Yes, sure. Uh, progressive web applications has been a hot topic this year. And uh, we start with uh, uh, GraphQL first. So we have been working uh, on uh, making our extensions compatible with uh, GraphQL this year. And we will continue working on it uh, next year, definitely. And then proceed with uh, PWA implementation. Okay. Mm. Also, uh, new products and features are great, but uh, 
We also working on improving the quality of our extensions. And uh, this is why we do code refactoring. Uh, we cover the extensions with the unit tests and MPTF tests as well. Okay, okay. This is this is great. Um, and um, if we go back uh, to the roadmap a little bit, uh, we have already talked about the recent releases section, right? Uh, and we um, also have three other sections. So um, could you please tell us what they show, what we have here? Sure. I guess uh, it's quite clear from the names. Uh, product updates is about uh, enhancing our extension already available. And uh, the upcoming extensions is about the whole new extensions we are going to release soon. And uh, the last one I really like is community proposals. Uh, this section is built by the community, by you. And uh, we created a separate form for request a feature or submit uh, your ideas. We can show it. Yes, sure. So for instance, I'll click on one card. And if we scroll down, we have like each card has this request a feature link. And uh, it will always take you to this form. So would you like to, to say a few words about this? Yeah, uh, you can uh, submit your ideas and we will review them. And the, the most popular ideas will come to the roadmap, to the community proposal sections. So you can give us uh, an opportunity to implement uh, really what your business is uh, needs needs, yeah. needs right um and um as you know as our partners um you can use this form uh, that is for all customers but um all, you can always send your ideas to us directly and we will make sure that they get into the right hands and uh will get due consideration so do take advantage of this opportunity um, so we talked about the community suggestions, right? So um, let's go back to the roadmap. And um, the next. One. The next? Oh, no. uh, okay. I, I wanted to be here, so <laughs> um, let's navigate this one. And I wanted to ask uh, about uh, the upcoming extensions. Sure. Right, so the, the, the your favorite ones. Yes, I have a few of my favorites. And the first one is import and export extension. Oh. Uh, the idea is simple as it gets. The extension uh, will help to import or export uh, any kind of uh, magenta entity, like products, categories, customers, uh, orders, product attributes, and so on. And uh, this extension will help uh, to save time on moving the data from one platform to another. Yeah, that's great. And I noticed that we already have a question about um, uh, import and export. So we'll uh, take a look at it uh, at the end uh, after the presentation. Sure. And uh, my second favorite is uh, multi-vendor marketplace. Okay. Uh, it will help to convert Magento store into feature-rich marketplace and uh, provide uh, a lot of opportunities like multi-supplier and uh, I think this is a big and uh, important uh, solution. Uh, okay, anything else? Uh, also, we have uh, an extension that will cover all the business needs, probably. This is B2B suit. Okay. And uh, it will help uh, to provide personalized pricing options uh, and to assign customer groups to personalized managers and uh, to manage quotation, stock credit, refunds, and so on. 
All right. Uh, and by the way, thank you for mentioning custom sim. Um, have you? Oh. Uh, the custom sim is uh, uh, yeah. also my Goodness. favorite. Okay, so could you uh, please say a few uh, words? Yes, uh, this uh, will help uh, with the front end development. I know uh, we have uh, a lot of uh, customer requests about creating our own sim. And uh, so we decided to, to develop it. Why not? And uh, it will be our uh, first experience with creating a sim and uh, it will be fast, functional and customizable and uh, uh, of course it will be compatible with all of our extensions. Yeah, and actually why I um, tried to highlight this uh, section is because we had a survey that we posted on Slack and um, um, I really appreciate the feedback that we gathered from uh, our partners. Um, well, thank you for sharing, for sharing your expertise and your insights and uh, thank you for uh, your comments during the interviews that we conducted because the feedback really helped us shape this product idea. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so uh, maybe that's enough for the extension section. What about the product updates? What do we have here? Uh, well, Mm, first, uh, we have one step checkout. We are going to improve the performance of this uh, the seller and uh, probably some other improvements. Uh, then uh, we also going to develop subscriptions and recurring payments extensions and we want to add uh, more payment system integrations. It works with Stripe and PayPal by default now, and we are going to add uh, Amazon Pay and uh, maybe other. And uh, I will mention also gift card, uh, and this is extension renovation. Uh, so uh, we will uh, de develop a new extension uh, that will have uh, the same logic and the same features. Uh, and they probably need to say some words about the renovation. Uh, we do uh, code refactor or renovation in case uh, the code is outdated and uh, it does not allow us uh, to enhance the extension and to add a new functionality. So we do the renovation first and then we are going to enhance it and add new features. Okay, okay, makes sense. So I believe we've covered all the sections here. Um, um, I also wanted to ask you about the general process. How do these things, the extensions, the ideas get on the roadmap? Uh, obviously we start with research and uh, we do interviews, the surveys. We gather customer feedback and uh, we review requests in a support department and uh, we analyze all the data and uh, select uh, the most valuable items and they come to the roadmap. Okay, good. So to uh, recap it for us, um, this is how we form the roadmap, right? And to say uh, how the partners can influence it. Um, I will highlight the following ways for you. So the first one and uh, the one that we have already looked at is to use the um, feedback form, request a feature form. Um, and um, well, you, you'll just type your ideas and um, it, they will get to the team who evaluate the ideas, right? Then second, um, you are our partners and uh, we you have many other ways of communication. So you can just send your ideas directly to me, to my colleagues, um, either on Slack. And by the way, we have a separate channel on Slack uh, for feature requests. So uh, please use that. Uh, and we uh, check your feedback in that channel. Uh, and um, you can just email us and uh, we'll make sure um, to um, give your ideas into the right hands. 
Third is uh, the surveys, the product surveys that I mentioned. Uh, we, as I mentioned, we uh, talked um, about custom themes and we had uh, a survey for that product. And importantly, I uh, will also uh, ask you to share some feedback with us and your insights about uh, drop shipping and multi warehousing. Um, this is a survey that will um, launch um, tomorrow, I believe. I will include a link in my follow up email uh, after the webinar. And um, I really hope that you will share your insights about the challenges that you face with drop shipping and multi warehousing. And uh, fourth, way that I haven't mentioned yet is uh, that we frequently get ideas from customization requests. Custom development. Yeah, yeah right, custom development requests. Um, and uh, sometimes uh, customers and partners come to us and say, we need this extension now and fast. And um, uh, if we don't have it available uh, on the market, and um, if uh, this is not something on the roadmap yet, we can custom code it for you. Um, so uh, um, just um, to give you this information, if you're interested, just send us uh, some um, ideas and um, we'll um, help you with uh, building such extent extensions. Uh, and uh, your ideas uh, will probably make it to the roadmap and uh, uh, become uh, a separate extension in the future. Uh, well, I think that's it for the presentation part, right? Yeah. So let's move on to the um, Q&A session. Okay. Um, okay, let's make sure that we get to the next slide. Okay, sorry, we had to reload it. So, okay. This is the slide. Please, please use the ask a question section and type your questions there. Uh, we'll take a minute to collect the questions and um, Victor will answer them a little bit later. All right, all right, we are back. Uh, thank you for the questions that we got. We just um, took a minute to browse through them um, and uh, to see what would be the best order uh, to address them. So the first question that we have is about PWA compatibility and the, exactly the question is, uh, what are your plans for PWA compatibility? Uh, well, uh, we have been working on uh, making our top extensions compatible with GraphQL this year. And this is the first step towards uh, PWA compatibility. Uh, so we are going uh, to continue working on this next year and then we'll definitely do P PWA implementation. And uh, we have a card uh, on the roadmap. Okay, I'll help with this. Compatibility with GraphQL. So uh, we can show a list of the extensions that uh, already uh, support GraphQL. These ones. Here it is, yeah. yes. So uh, we will select uh, one from this list and probably do a progressive web apps implementation. Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, so we have another question related to GraphQL. Uh, and um, um, the question is, any plan for import and export compatibility with GraphQL? Oh. Uh, uh, first of all, we are going uh, to develop import and export extension and uh, uh, then probably we will think of uh, the compatibility with GraphQL as well. Okay, so uh, let's add this to the feature request right <laughs> list uh, and, uh, and see um, yes, sure. whether this makes to the to the final stage. Um, Okay, um, another question. So for each extension development, 
what would be the basic standard slash requirement in terms of performance, such as number of product, uh, response time? Oh. Uh, this is a bigger topic probably, and uh, this is a topic uh, for separate webinar probably. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do um, have a quality assurance department, and uh, the quality assurance team do performance testing for every of our extensions. And uh, I know that uh, we have a uh, uh, list of requirements for the performance, uh, and uh, um, I can say any particular numbers probably for now. Okay. Um, well, thank you. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Uh, we have a question about uh, the multi-vendor marketplace. So for multi-vendor, do you have feature for split checkout cart by vendor or item like the AliExpress? Oh, this is a great feature. Thank you for this question. And uh, we have this feature on the list. Uh, but uh, uh, I can't uh, say that it will be available in the MVP, but we have this feature in the list and uh, we are going to develop it uh, probably in, in updates of this extension. Um, okay, okay, good. So I believe that all the questions that we have, um, we let so let's wait uh, for for a few seconds to see uh, whether we get something else um anything uh, that our partners um would like to come up with um if you still have questions left uh, uh, you can contact me uh, or Julia directly or submit a support ticket probably and uh, we will answer all your questions yeah as always so um, I believe that's it for today thank you so much for your participation and um, for your feedback um, and um, um, thank you for helping us uh, to become better uh, every day Thank you, and uh, we wish you uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New yeah. Year, uh, and uh, the best of luck with uh, all your new beginnings and uh, all uh, endeavors in uh, 2020. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.